Hello and welcome to Invictus Racing League Xbox F1 League. My name is Andrew Gatton and I'm joined by the absolutely wonderful Matty Valander. How are you doing tonight, buddy? I'm very, very well, thank you. How about yourself? I am doing fantastic, mate. I can't wait for tonight's race around Sochi. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's been a while since we've come together, hasn't it? It certainly has been, and I think we've got a very, very interesting track to to rejoin the partnership at. I say, Sochi's very interesting. I've seen a lot of uh, a lot of dangerous curves everywhere, as I found out about 10, 15 minutes ago. But these drivers are a lot better than me, so I'm sure they can handle the curves a lot better than me. I think that could be <laughs> the pure truth here. Just going to run through the grid for tonight's race. We have Mr. IRL Matt. Jamie29x, Lucky Do, MCD Coder, Nathan HRX, Raza410, Hubba D, Botch Gerbil, Liverpool Ewan, Joey, Ruzek, Franz, XHRC, Sir Sharks, PSR Harry. And that is all 15 drivers. Tonight's race, I believe, should be a good one, I think. Overall, it's going to be good. Just got a little bit of housekeeping to do, if I can get it actually up and running. But while that's while I'm managing to get that sorted out, Matty, tell us a little bit um, a little bit about this track that you haven't already told us. <laughs> well, what's to say? Well, obviously it's got a very, 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 very long start finish straight. A lot of overtaking expected there. I think it's going to come down to quite a bit of ERS management. We're looking at. About 35 seconds lost on a pit end to pit exit. And we're looking at a one-stop strategy if you can do your tyre saving correctly. It's very, very high on the tyre wear here. A two-stop strategy would be possible, but you kind of need a safety car or a VSC to make it work. So you kind of... Well, you're really taking your race out of your own hands because you're, you're praying for somebody else to mess up. So it's going to be interesting to see what strategy people go with. And as I've touched on already... And I literally touched them earlier. The curbs, they're impossible. If you clip some of the curbs wrong, you can end up with track warnings. You can end up spinning. There's quite a few sausage curbs around here, so we've got to be really careful of them as well. So it's going to be a technical track, I think, is the right word to describe it. I do believe that is very true. Just going to run through the current Drivers' Championship for everybody. Currently sitting on the top spot at the moment is the Canadian Bots Gerbil. Right now, he is 74 points in the lead right now and you've got PSR Harry running in second in the Haas with 57 points and in third not too far behind him is DCRS Smates who I do believe Smates won't be joining us tonight so unfortunately he won't be gaining any points out of this race but again not very far behind only five points behind is Liverpool Ewan in the Alpha Tauri and in fifth spot we have Raza410 37 points, so a little bit further down the pack, about 9 points down. And DJ Danny as well, another driver who's not joining us tonight, currently hitting the 6th spot on the grid, with 34 points, only 3 points adrift from Mr. Raza410, who is just above him there. And Sir Sharks in 7th, who is has actually joined us tonight, um, it was a bit of a a strange one. We've actually got 16 drivers for tonight's race. A few more have decided to turn up. We also have Farfoot, uh, Nathan HRX, sorry, in ninth, and Son Pikachu in eighth as well. And in tenth, we have Farfoot. Sorry for me mixing that up a little bit, but I am trying to read this on the fly. Um, I did have a look at all this earlier, but unfortunately, I can't memorize 10 drivers in an order. Um, well, it's not yes, good enough, Gat, and you've just got to be better, mate. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Matty. But, obviously, once again, we are sponsored on this stream by GT Omega, which is the title sponsor of Top Tier Racing here on the Xbox. And also, other sponsors to mention is Gridfinder and Driver61, two partners. Again, uh, fantastic support from those guys. Um, make sure to go and check out their websites. Um and also in GT Omega, you'll be able to get some really nice discounts on some deals with the uh, the Invictus code. Make sure to join the Discord and start racing with us. And maybe now and again, we'll have a little deal on the cards for you. So, let's just have a look 
at some interesting facts. It's the 42nd IRL Xbox F1 race, 66th total IRL Xbox race, which is going to be good uh, for everybody to see. Um, it's the third time IRL Xbox has visited Russia, um, and it's the first time in F1 2021. The last visit was in Xbox F1 and RP in Season 12, Round 3, which was our last season, which was a lot of fun, i got to say. Um, I do believe in the F1, so this exact calendar from the year before, we had Liverpool Ewan finishing first, Farfu in second, and DJ Danny in third. Obviously, DJ Danny not here tonight, but can Liverpool Ewan and Farfu recreate the amazing racing that they showed us last time round. And hey everybody in the chat, we're just gonna get ready for Quali. So hope everybody is having a good day. I know I did. How was your day, Matty? I don't think I asked you that yet, have I? It's been hectic. It's been really, really hectic and I'm looking forward to chilling out with a bit of fantastic racing. It's dry dry from what I'm uh, seeing in the chat as well, which makes it even more interesting as we're seeing Rusek out already in the McLaren. Hubbardy out as well in the Alfa Romeo. A couple of drivers coming now to set some banker laps. Who's your money on, Andrew? Go on, I, I, you said you weren't going to ask me this question, but unfortunately I'm going to put you on the spot. Who's your money on and why? Okay, so I think <laughs> from my eyes, personally, I think Bots Gerbil has had an absolutely fantastic season on this game. He, he found his feet really early and ever since then has been pretty strong in all the races that I've seen him do. Obviously, me and Kieran commentating on Canada as well. He had a really good race at his home track. I, I do believe he is in with a strong chance tonight at doing something fantastic for us. So there you, you've heard it first from Andrew Botcher, but you know what, I was going to say I agree with you, but I'm going to go quite far out there. And he's not got a podium yet from what I believe, but I'm going to go Nathan HRX for podium tonight. He's shown some good pace in the last few races uh, from the races that I've seen. And he's been a bit unfortunate, but I'm going to call it now. I think he gets on the podium. That is amazing, but I've just got a little bit of a fact for you as well about Bots Gerbil. If a podium position comes his way tonight, that means he has 21 podiums in IRL Xbox. Second in uh, IRL Xbox and 11 in Xbox F1, um, which is just amazing. So of, overall, he's had 21 podiums. That is including RP as well, which is very, very good. He could get very, very close to DJ Danny's record of 23 podiums so far, so this could be something. So he could. Watching on board with Lucky Do at the moment as he comes round to start his lap. Seems to have a very good run out of that first, uh, the last corner, sorry. Takes the kick, comes down into T1 on the brakes very nicely there, pretty controlled. He's coming round the affirmated turn three, where a lot of drivers have lost it in the past. He's got a lot of power under his belt today. I, I do believe that Lucky Do can really do something. He needs to get himself in the top ten. Very careful of these curbs now as he comes through sector two. Really nice and tight lines through there. Let's see how he does. Ruzek goes a 131.6. <laughs> and it does look like Liverpool Ewan's having a little bit of connection issues tonight. He certainly oh, does. Oh, and there it is. He does just invalid. Somebody who Very hasn't got connection corner. issues and he's not invalidating at the moment. He's on purple for the oh, first Ruzek's sector. Ruzek's crashed. Ruzek's crashed. Disaster for him. Comes through T1. But Botch Gerbil is absolutely flying at the base. moment. He's gone purple in the first and second sector. He's yet to really get affected by the curbs. He's been very, very fast, kept it very, very tight. He's got one more sector to deal with. But he's currently purple, purple here, Andrew. That seems very, very fast from Botch Gerbil. We're just going to jump on board with him now. He's having a little bit of an issue with trying to jump to the driver there, but. There he does it at 131.4. He's only 0.2 
faster than Ruzek there. I think he I may have lost it on the way back. I think he may have lost a little bit in the third sector because he was absolutely flying through the first and second sector there. I think that could be very true, Mattia. I'm not too sure necessarily how much time he can gain, but I reckon he has still got time in that. Another driver putting codes in, uh, coder, sorry, goes <laughs> P3 at the moment, a 131.7. I just wish I just didn't mix up names and <laughs> uh, uh, positions, but, you know, that's how we do it. Well, it, and somebody to jump on board with his fire around match. He's come purple through the second sector. He's not invalidated yet. He's absolutely flying. If he can get around the last corner, this could be a very, very good lap from himself. Right, so look, now he only goes P5, but he was quickest in the second sector with a 131.8. I think you might be a bit disappointed with that. I think you might be right. Uh, just watching that corner, Ooh. he did run a tiny bit deep into the final corner there. But PSR Harry what showing his lap. dominance. And that's on medium tyres as well. <laughs> so that is very interesting to see. <laughs> what Raza a lap. is on an outlap. Raza is on an outlap at the moment. This could be very interesting to see where he goes because obviously his teammate currently sitting P2 on the grid on some soft tyres. But PSR Harry is showing everybody what he's made of with that quality lap. PSR, Har PSR Harry has been very, very strong in qualifying. He's always shown really, really good pace, especially on the medium. As Farfu runs a little bit wide there and he's invalidated. Unlucky for Farfu, Farfu and Mercedes, he's out on the mediums as well, but he has invalidated. That lap would not be valid. And XHRC is in the Alpine. Looks like he's on a lap. That beautiful car. I never get bored of watching the Alpine go around. It looks fantastic and it sounds even better as well. But he's a little very sneaky there through that corner. Coming around the last two corners, we can see what time he can set. Can he get round properly? He does very, very well. Oh, he almost Ooh. loses it, but he goes P2. A very, very good lap, but still uh, not as fast as PSR Harry on the mediums there. I think that is a very fair statement to say. If he didn't lose out of that back court, that last corner there, I'm not too sure how much time he would have gained because he lost it already. Uh, he lost it kind of as he was taking the line. I think so I think I he would have been too much time. I think he would have been a 131 potentially a 131 what you know high one. Now, I don't think he would have got as I don't think he would have lost that much time, but I think he would have definitely been 131 ones if he hadn't lost it there. As we do have PSR Harry in the chat. Hello, hey. buddy. There he is. Yo, yo, how are you doing, Harry? I hope you have a fantastic race tonight, brother. As we're watching Lucky Do right now. Unfortunately, he invalid his first lap, but he's still going to come back and see if he can set a good time. What a good line through there. Uses all the curb on the entry to the corner. Very good from him. Raza is out on a flying lap as well, but I don't think he's really got the speeds at the moment that the other drivers have shown. I think he's going to be a bit disappointed. He seems very hesitant on the curbs, I think. That could be down to just the fact that he did. I do believe he actually invalid his first lap. So if he can just get a lap on the board, that will be a win-win in his books, I do believe. Let's see what time he's about to set now as he comes around the last corner. It's actually Paul. He made me eat my words. It looks slow from where I was sitting. But that's rather just saying, shut up, Matty, there, as he goes Paul with a 130.9 gun. Wow, it's just insane. It shows you these drivers do have some pure pace. Lucky do coming round to the final complex of corners. See if he can set a decent lap time. Oh, it's only enough for P12. And one driver to oh, jump on on is actually Lucky Do's partner. Liverpool Ewan is absolutely flying here. He's gone purple in the second sector. And he's going to go around the last two corners now if he can do it without invalidating. He ran very, very tight there, but I didn't see the invalidation he has oh. there. It was a 131 one, so it would have been enough for P3, but he's invalidated, and I think he's going to be absolutely devastated with that. It's bittersweet because he knows he's got that pace in him, but can he repeat it? Yes, definitely. I think Liverpool Ewan has the race pace and the knowledge of any F1 game. 
to basically, no matter what strategy call, he'll be able to do something about it. So our shark's just avoiding Liverpool U and he doesn't want anything <laughs> to do with it, with that. But Joey is on a flying lap at the moment. We're just going to jump on board with him. As he flies through sector two. That was really nicely done through there on the brakes. Doesn't want to risk running wide there because it's very nasty. Now he's on the back straight. This is where the DRS can mean everything. If you can get this in the race, coming down into the sharp right-hander, you can make some really sweet and, I would say, awesome moves. We've seen it before, and we're probably going to see it again today, and I can't wait to see that corner in action. My, my one thing about this track from doing Grand Prix mode, so it's not as in-depth knowledge and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm nowhere near as quick as these guys and know the game as quick as these guys, but ERS management must be so important here, going down that really, really long straight, coming out that last corner and down the straight. If you have no ERS, you're just a sitting duck, especially if you've got no DRS as well, you're just a sitting duck. You have to be. Exactly, especially with such the dynamic of both high speed and low speed corners on the track PSR. You know, the ERS means a lot especially on the exit of corners if you have that ERS and it's there to use you'll want to use it when you're coming out of corners but Jamie 29X on a chill down lap it seems PSR Harry is absolutely flying again he's out on another right lap this time on the softs so we've seen what he can do on the mediums. He could set a real benchmark here of absolutely flying as he needs to keep it tight around these corners. Very, very nice. Coming around the second to last corner. He keeps it within the lines only just. He's pushing this all the way to the limit. He keeps it through and over the line with a 130.1. What a lap. What a lap that is there from PSR Harry. He's showing what he can do on those soft tyres. That's an incredible but lap time. I will say, Botch Gerbil managed to go P2 as well on a 130.8. Just out pipping his teammate. Ferrari, Ferrari is second and third there. They've got to be very, very happy with that. If it stays this way, there is still five minutes to go, which means, well, you know what that means, Gatlin, I'm sure the chat do as well. It means a last dash sprint for everybody to get their laps in very, very soon. So we could see a lot of chopping and changing does look like Alpine on Alpine action, um, but it's not actually. I do believe that is one of the Red Bulls. No, it's not. It is one of the Williams in front at the moment, and that will be MCD Coder in front of Nathan HRX as he is on, I do Ooh. believe, an in-lap. Is that invalid? Is that invalid? I don't think it is. Oh, oh, big slide there from Nathan. Oh, Hey, uh, X HRC, HXRC is so unlucky there. He was absolutely flying through the second sector. He went purple through the second sector and then just seemed to really, really lose it a little bit going into the third sector. The last two corners, he really lost it on and ended up losing a lot of time. He was absolutely flying into the 130s. It would have been enough to potentially put in P4 or P3. I didn't quite catch the time fully, but he's showing that he's got the pace. He just needs to try and keep it in the track limits, which is what we were talking earlier. Exactly. I think track limits around here is just pain. It's it's very similar to Portimao, I think, in the sense that it's going to be down to penalties for some drivers here at Sochi. But one thing I do know about this track is that it's very unforgiving. You've got walls on each side of you, so if you make a mistake... This track will punish you very, very much so. But Ruzek on an outlap at the moment. We're going to just see if he can jump into the first row of the grid. He's just getting set up ready for his lap. We're about to see Liverpool Ewan set in a flow as well. Now. The pressure's on Liverpool Ewan. He has to get a lap in this time. He has to. Seagulls. In chat, just goes gerbil for the win. Joey to get first podium as driving consistently in the first season. I do believe Joey is driving very consistently in this first season in the Invictus Racing 
the Ooh, Xbox Is Liverpool F1. you going to validate? He hasn't. That was very, very close there. I think we need a bit of VAR on that one. But he's doing <laughs> very, very... VAR. <laughs> Don't get me started on VAR. It's the wrong sport. It's the wrong sport. We stick with uh, F1. Purple yeah, first FIA. sector oh, for Liverpool. That was Ewan. very close from Ruzek. He nearly infiled. Coming through sector one, but he does go fastest in sector one. Pierce or Harry in chat saying he's going to back himself. And with the performance you've put in in this quality session so far, I'm not surprised you're backing yourself, mate. I would as well if I was that quick. Some Pikachu's joined in as well. Looks like just in time, Gatton. I do believe he had, he had no much... Yeah, you didn't have much time to say. I was going to say there is no much time left. I was going to say that's not very good English, say. mate. <laughs> that's very Scottish. I do apologise. <laughs> but um, I'll tell you something. Liverpool, you and purple through the second sector. He's purple through one and two here. He's had an absolute nightmare so far with invalidations. If he can get through the last two corners, this could be an incredible lap time for him. Goes through the first one. It? Oh, he's kept it in just. What's he going to do? Go in the last corner. Oh, it's only enough for P4. Oh, MC Coda. He plays grid penalty, but Ruzek still keeps P4. He is the fastest of the 31 runners at the moment. Let's see how that goes. Liverpool Ewan manages to put a time in, but only enough for P5. I don't think he's going to be too think, happy with that one. I think Liverpool Ewan struggling in the third sector. I'm not sure if it's maybe a setup thing slightly different to the other drivers because he's he is far from crashed. I believe Farfrew may have crashed. Farfrew has crashed. Yeah, he's crashed through Sector 3. We're just going to come through the instant now on board with Raza 410. Yeah, he's actually bounced off the wall. It's very unfortunate, but Farfrew still currently in the top 10. He certainly is. he is at major risk. But yeah, what were we saying about Liverpool? You and he was purple through the first and second sector then. I'm just going to check race oh, director no to make way. sure that's not a glitch on my side. Raza still manages to keep that. Sorry. He, he, I don't know how race director didn't tell him that that was invalid because he went right off track there at the end. But, um, you know, he's still currently holding P3 and a 130.9. Mm -hmm. Sir Sharks currently going to make it to the line, HRC hmm. as well, and MCD Coder. I think I have a... the first of the runners. I think I have a glitch game. It's telling me everybody's going purple through the first and second sector. I've just checked. And Liverpool I get Ewan that as well. Wasn't quicker through the first and second sectors. So, essentially, ignore everything I've said this qualify session is invalid. A bit like some of the lap times I set around here. Max is a bit tanky out of T1, comes around into Oh, Joey's invalid. Joey has invalid, so there will be no improvement from him. Unlucky. Nathan HRX hasn't so far, though. But Sir Sharks has put himself into the top 10. Very, very good lap. For that lost time from Farfu. Hubbardy is invalid very as nice well, unfortunately. Some Pikachu is going to be able to get a lap in as well. Interesting to see where he goes on the track. He's left himself with a pressure lap there. One, one lap to see what he can do. And there's also backing each other up by the seams of it. They've got to make sure there's no traffic here. Either way, Sun Pikachu coming through Sector 2 now. Gets the DRS Ooh. wide open down the back straight. Let's see what he can do. As it stands, PSR Harry is currently on pole. Very unlikely that anybody will be able to push that lap time. Ooh. That was very close from Sun Pikachu through there. Just pushing sure very, very hard. Is, but... We'll just assume it's not the best camera angle that you can have, but Sun <laughs> Pikachu coming round the second last corner holds it just a little bit square Over the curb! Oh, oh, he oh. dives in, but he goes to 11. <laughs> he just manages to jump far through 11, who crashed out of this session not too long ago. Did anybody order some sure rally Farfu's cross there with Sun Pikachu? <laughs> I do believe he decided he was going to become a M Sport 
forward <laughs> through that corner. <laughs> I but, tell you uh, what, incredible way, to hold it from some Pikachu there. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, I, I don't know how he managed it, but that was some really <laughs> good car control, so well done. Oh. So the reason I was talking almost in Scottish is I had a group of uh, Glaswegians in my work today, and they, they were hilarious. I loved them. I loved them. <laughs> um, for all of you that don't know, I'm not Glaswegian. I live in the north of Scotland, so when you, when you hear Glaswegian, we do have a lot up here, but these guys were proper pure Glaswegian, I mean, born and bred. You could hear it in their voice, and you know something, fair play to them. It was good fun. But right now, here's your pole sitter for today, PSR Harry. Joining him on the front row is Bot Gerbil, our current championship leader. In third, we've got MC Decoder. In fourth, we have Raza410. In fifth, we have Ruzek. In sixth, Liverpool Ewan. In seventh, Sir Sharks. In eighth, HRC. In ninth, Franz. And in tenth, we have Jamie29x. The problem for MC Decoder is he's done all the hard work and then he's got that five place grid penalty as well. I think he's going to be absolutely devastated with that. But I was just looking through. Um, I was just having a little look through the race director there and it seems to be the third. Everybody seemed to be fairly close in the first and second sector. It was the third sector where time was won and lost. The trickier section of the track, in my opinion. That's interesting. Do you think that's a setup issue, or do you think people were just pushing a bit too hard? I think it's a mix of both, Matty. That the setup, it, it's kind of weird around here. You've either set the car up for pure speed because there's two very long straights, or you set it up for cornering. And a lot of people try and set it up for both, and potentially it just doesn't work very well. Especially here, there's a mix of very technical corners, and there's also a mix of obviously high speed uh, action and it's just one of those things and it did look like a few drivers were struggling with that rear end maybe potentially just too high on the differential either way the car itself managed to stay on track I was only one driver that crashed out of today's quali and I'm sure he's gonna be kicking himself after that exit that he had certainly will but it's a very very long race to go anything could happen as i think we all know by now anything does happen in these races that's for sure oh definitely anyway this is invictus racing league uh the f1 racing league uh my name is andrew gatton and obviously i'm joined by the wonderful matty valander uh our wonderful sponsors for the racing you're seeing here is gt omega we have Driver61 and we also have Gridfinder. Make sure to go and check out those wonderful people. They have made some really good gear. They made some really good mods that you can use to have racing. And that is for GT Omega. And then obviously Driver61 for the wonderful driver coaching that they do. I know a few people that use their services and say they're fantastic, great customer service and awesome drivers. And obviously Grid Finder, where you can find all your racing needs, um, joining leagues, asking questions, meeting new people, and looking for commentators. You can find it all on Grid Finder. And it's going to be a good race. And we're always lucky to have them along with us. We're just waiting for the grid to line up, aren't we, Matty? We certainly are. Just looking, we've had a message in the, ch in the uh, comms chat saying should be getting a little cloudy later into quali and a little cloudy at the end of the race but it's not forecasting any rain so we may yeah, have very interesting it is so we may see people struggling a little bit towards the end of the race with tires and as we mentioned already well i mentioned already you can do a one stop round here but you do have to conserve your tires and I've just noticed the giant roller coaster in the back of shot. I really want to go on that, but that's not important right now. But as I said, you can do a one-stop strategy around here. Fun. I know, it does look pretty cool, doesn't it? Uh, to be fair, that looks like my racing line around here. Going all the way wide and off the track and then coming back down. But that's why I'm not racing. But no, you can do a one-stop, but obviously you do have to conserve your tyres. And I think that's going to be a, real, a big struggle. Especially when you're battling around this track. Did you know, my? that this racetrack is actually based at the Sochi Olympic Park. 
I did not, but if they've got a roller coaster at the Sochi Olympic Park, it's suddenly going on the bucket list of places I want to visit. Because that roller coaster, I'd be distracted if I was a Formula One driver. You've got the massive um, tower in America, the Circuit de Americas. I'd, I'd be distracted by that driving round, and I'd be distracted by the giant roller coaster. I'd, I wouldn't make a very good Formula One driver at all. But we're getting distracted here you by architecture when neither of us are architects. <laughs> you don't have to be an architect to just marvel over fantastic buildings and, and shapes. Do I not get any credit it. for knowing the word art architect? <laughs> I mean, you should, but I don't know if I will give it to you. Oh, well, hopefully people in chat will give me credit for knowing what an architect is, because, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> We've only got five drivers starting on the medium combine of tyres, and that is all the way from P11 to P15. Sun Pikachu, Farfu, Hyrule Mats, Joey and Nathan HRX going for the gamble and starting on the medium tyre. Now, the interesting thing is, these guys are going to go and play the longer game. If they can, potentially there, there will be a safety car at some point. They might be able to jump on some soft and then go back onto the medium compounds if it starts like this. But, um, either way, I think it's very interesting to see. Obviously, all the cars from P10, uh, from P1 to P10, starting on their quality tyre. Um, that is a standard Formula 1 rule. But I think these guys are fast enough and know enough about their racing styles to be able to make that gamble themselves. It certainly is. Obviously, Lukey do Hubbardy on the softs. They're, they're going to have to do a lot of overtaking. That's the... Uh... That's what I take from that. They're going to have to do a hell of a lot of overtaking to to really make that strategy work. And PSR Harry is going to have to be very careful off the off the start there. He's got both Ferraris that are going to be chasing him down. Do you think the Ferraris are going to work together here? I do believe that the Ferraris will try their best to work together as much as they can. Botscher will obviously starting the race, so he will have the optimum pick of when he wants to pit if they are playing the team game. But either way, we're getting ready to start here in Sochi. Here we have five red lights. And off we go for the Sochi GP. What a fantastic start there from Sir Sharks. He's already up in position, He's chasing down Ruzek towards T1. He's gonna have a lot of work to do. He's on the outside, but PSR Harry flying ahead, a Honda going quite wide and so is Sun Pikachu Ooh. in the Alfa Romeo we got a bit of contact going on but nobody has crashed just yet but they have that, Sun, Sun Pikachu. Pikachu has unfortunately made contact with somebody I'm not sure who it was but he is unfortunately there had been, has had the worst of the starts oh Liverpool Ewan it's a five second Corner, uh, second penalty for corner Oof, going. Coda just did very, place. very well to avoid the wall there. He was forced wide. There wasn't enough room on the track and he did very, very well to avoid the wall. Pat yourself on the back. But look at Farfu. What a start up to P9. He definitely had a fantastic start. Another driver that had a fantastic start there was Sir Sharks. Ruzek just got caught up in everything, didn't he? Like, he just got swamped off the start there. He's, he's dropped quite a few positions and he's now having to defend from his teammate and Farfu Ooh, who is Iron flying Mats. down. Iron Mats trying to make moves, but he can't Ooh, get it the done. Red Bulls make he contact. His teammate. And then MC Coda coming in through the back here. Oh, absolute battling from the from all of them. Fantastic driving. Drivers going side by side everywhere in this battle. Hrx. Jamie's diving in the pit with damage. Bit. He struggled to get the car in the pit there. Contact he had. That that would be very fair to get. He's actually retired he's from retired. the session. That's a shame to see there from Jamie. But one thing that should Don't be noted, PSR Harry absolutely gapped everybody here. He's he already one point six seconds up. What on the a first start lap. from PSR Harry, which makes me wonder: Are the Ferraris battling? Was there some battling going on between the Ferrari, which has made that happen, or is he just that quick at the moment? I think that it's a, a combination of PSR Harry and the fact that the Ferraris are having to work together together here. I don't think that the Ferraris are necessarily Iron Matt and Coda going side by other. side. Oof! 
Koda did very, very well to not put that into the wall. That's twice now he's had to do that going around that corner and to avoid putting it in the wall. Very, very good I driving. Will see this now. Nathan's looking there to get at the inside of Koda. Unlucky, he couldn't quite make the move stick. Sorry, what were you going to say, Andrew? <laughs> I was going to say, uh, and you don't need to say sorry for that, by the way, that Liverpool Ewan is putting a lot of pressure on those tyres, especially for Sector 2. He's leaning quite heavily on them. I don't know if he's just trying to carry too much speed, but he's really being quite aggressive. This is absolutely incredible to watch down here. The battle at the back between, we have got some Pikachu joining in, Joey, Hubbardy, Lukey D, Nathan HRX, and Coda, who's now just escaping the battle. They've been changing positions constantly to get through. Some Pikachu now gets around Joey. He's not wearing a helmet on my screen, that's quite weird. But he's got past Joey and chasing after the other Alfa Romeo, but fantastic racing from all of them there. But going back to your- Halloween of... anymore. <laughs> he's not wearing a helmet. Going Hubbardy back to you, um, your point about Liverpool Ewan, I think you're right, but I think with Ewan, he's that experienced, he knows his race craft, his race style that well, that I think he knows what limit he can push to, and I think he works oh, in Oh, we've got a spinning car! MCD Calder loses out of turn three! It did look like he's just lost the back end. It's just stepped away from him. There, it doesn't look like there's any contact. He just kind of rolled too much on the throttle I think but Sun Pikachu now having to chase down Lucky Do um, he's going to have DRS a lot of these drivers not really getting a chance to get away from each other they're all in the slipstream just massive slipstream train everywhere and I don't know how good that is for these tyres that's all I'm going to say well it's what we expected with the long straights the really tight corners you haven't really if you're in DRS you're going to struggle to get away from the people in front of you but one driver that doesn't have to worry about that is the man in form at the moment the leader that is Pia, psr harry he is 2.4 seconds now ahead of the ferrari of botch gerbil who just seems to be doing his best to keep it within that distance psr harry is absolutely dominating this race at the moment definitely and i just want to say some pikachu down into the end of the second DRS straight went round the outside of lucky do and managed to make the move stick through the chicane under the bridge that was fantastic there from some pikachu he is now up into p12 i just want to give a massive shout out there to nathan hrx up four positions from the start he seems to have avoided a lot of the drama a lot of the collisions he's kept it clean at the moment hopefully i haven't commentated his curse to him do not clip this if something happens later on in the race but up four positions i think he's going to be very very pleased with how he started so far definitely i'm just going to jump to hrc it does look like he is making some moves on the back of Sir Sharks. He's not going to be too happy that he's there, but Sir Sharks will do what he can to just keep that beautiful Alpine behind him for as long as possible. Oh, we've got a spinning Ferrari. That's Botch Gerbil. Oh, no. That Bosch is Gerbil devastating for Botch Gerbil. It looked like he just slipped it a little too much on the throttle I, I have lost it there in the past I think the last race I did round here I lost it in that corner so fantastic so, move there from XHC some Pikachu XHC. has got past Nathan HRX they're as well they're side by side a little bit of contact but Sir Sharks manages to get the place back fantastic move some Pikachu is literally making light work of passing at the moment France is out out. Is that a crash? It that is. That is a safety car exactly on the racing line. And it's literally where everybody is coming through the corner, so nobody's really managed to make it to the pits bar Hubbardy and Lucky Do. MCD Coder will probably come into the pits as well. He's not coming into the pits. I no, he has. It just took a while to register, but that is Franz W. 31 out of this race that is down one that, that is that is amazing actually to see because that's now pretty much Ruzik going to have to make all the points here and Franz going to be a little bit angry with that I, I don't think anything could have really predicted that happening but uh, I think another really driver nice that's going to be uh, quite angry with this situation is PSR Harry he'd absolutely he gapped everybody. He had the lead. 
he seemed to be controlling the race and now with this safety car which is very unfortunate for Franz in that McLaren he's now going to have to hold off Raza and Liverpool Ewan again now we know how quick Liverpool Ewan can be we know how quick Raza can be we know how quick Harry can be but it's going to be about who can get the better start and on that long straight coming out that final corner it, I think it's going to be a struggle for him to get up that sort of distance again he might prove me wrong but we will have to see Definitely, Matty. I think the one big loser out of that is Bot Gerbil. He'd spun just before that incident and was already past the pit stop when the safety car came out. So, in his eyes, that is the biggest loss that he could have physically had. If it had just came out a little bit sooner, he would have been able to dive PSR, into the pits. Harry, Raza, Liverpool, Ewan, Sir Sharks, HRC, all pitting. Farfu staying out on the mediums. HRC coming in, Ruzek in, Botch, Gerbil in, all of the soft runners are in now. I think that's a good Nathan choice. HRX really is in as well. He was on the mediums anyway, but he's box. That's an interesting decision decision from himself. And he's going on to the hards. Nathan HRX has took the plunge and is going on to the hards, Andrew. He's gonna try and make it to the end of the race. Um from this point. You've got to really keep your tyres good. 21 laps on some mediums round here. I'm not sure how long that's going to go. But a lot of these guys will be just gambling on another safety car. And Nathan HRX just can't. He just doesn't want to lose as many positions. But it's, I just think that he needs to keep that car in a straight line. It's interesting car. going onto the hards for me. Because we know the hards can make it. But my question would be the pace. So if, if, there isn't, if there isn't another safety car, and if this, okay, everybody else might have the box, but he's going he's gonna to struggle with pace towards the end of the race, I think. And I think that may leave him as a sitting duck if that is the case. But we will have to wait and see what happens as we see that beautiful green Aston Martin again. Wow, look at that. It is beautiful. Beautiful car. He's going to know do that. Sorry, I had to throw in another one. <laughs> I, had to I had to throw in another one, all right? Uh, either way, Aral Mats, five lap old mediums, there's only four cars right now, and they're the top four that have kind of stayed out. And Aral Mats, currently P2 at the moment, he's not the fastest in pace around here, but he's just got a lot of defending to do. Sun Pikachu behind him is going to have to make some moves in this safety car restart. Safety car, I don't think, will be in this lap because the car behind, MC Decoder, still hasn't caught up with the pack, so we're going to have to do one more lap. I'm looking at the position that PSR, Harry, Raza, Sir Shucks have all took up there. And I mean, they're on fresher tyres, of course, but he's got a lot of overtaking to do. All of those guys, again, are either going to have to sit behind... Farfu, Ira, Matt, Son, Pikachu and Joey until they box. All they're going to have to try and go through is five second penalty there for Hubbardy. That is very interesting. Oh, Nathan's back in the pits. Lucky do gets one as well. Nathan's back in the pits for medium. I, I tell you what he's done there. He's keeping the safety car out one more, isn't he? No, I tell you what he's done there. I think he's done the same thing I did yesterday. Or, well, I think it was yesterday. He's he's done one lap on a set of tyres and then he's gone back in to use the mediums because he can use the mediums now if he can to the end of the race. He obviously started on the mediums, so he, he had to use another set of tyres, so he's done it under the safety car. The interesting thing about the, what you were saying there, Matty, is you did that strategy and it worked. I mean, I don't want to brag it and bring my own trumpet, but I did go from P17 to P5. I will take that, and that strategy did work, and it wasn't a strategy I did all by myself. Another IR commentator, Dom the Noodle, was the one that was in my ear, who was telling me to, or, well, giving me advice on the best strategy, but it did definitely work. But my question could be, would the medium tires be able to do 20 laps? I really think that you might manage to push them. That's all I'm going to say is I think they'll manage from here. Obviously, this lap around the safety car will put it to about 19 laps of full-on racing, really, on the mediums. And I think that'll be able to do it to the end. A lot of cars might be struggling. I think one car that might be struggling is Liverpool Ewan. He's been quite aggressive with his tyres today. Um, but on top of that, I think we're going to be in for some good racing. The safety car is going to be in this lap. 
Mr. Michael Massey has told us. Fafu, is he gonna back everybody up? Oh, I'm having connection issues. I just had a little bit of a lag spike. I do apologize, guys. But Farfoot is backing people up. That is very good. He's managed to just, he's faked out IRL mats there. And Lucky Do gets another five second penalty, which is not gonna be good for him. Liverpool. Liverpool Ewan diving down the outs, the inside of HRC. They made contact, but HRC's come off better there. Definitely, I think PSR Harry has made a nice dive. Coder has lost it into turn four. I believe that is sausage. He's taking Russian sausage. And another safety car. Well, either way, Hubbardy and Lucky Do were having some major contact during that last safety car. And I, I think this safety car won't last too long. That's all I'm going to say. It is, <laughs> oh, I'm coughing. It is PSR Harry who is sitting currently. Oh, we've had a pit stop from Sun Pikachu who has decided to jump in. He has to go on to hards from here. He's gonna have to go on to hards. He needs to pit. Well, did he start on hards? Oh, sorry, on mediums. So he's going to do two stop now. Definitely. From this point now, he will be able to run those mediums to the end of the race. But Sun Pikachu is going to have to make up some positions. Hopefully no more safety cars or VSCs. And uh, Sun Pikachu will be sorted. Yeah, I think a lot of people were, were getting really tense during that first safety car. Oh, we've had a spin. That's Joey. He's put it in the wall under his own steam. He wasn't even going that fast. Just do the, the typical Lando Norris. Uh, race engineer, are you all right, Lando? Any damage? Just my pride. Yeah. Definitely, I think it's going to be a little bit of a change of pace. I don't know, did it say the safety car was in this lap? Yes, so so Cody's has done us one dirty and we've lost another lap of racing, but that is fine. We did have kind of two incidents and one, one incident as well under the safety car, so I mean... Definitely, but obviously. 
Well, Joey's obviously going to get the priority. I don't know why Hubbardy decided to come back in. Hubbardy does have a five second to serve, so... Well, he might be able to, they might be able to catch because they can go under full steam to catch the safety car. But Hubbardy is going to need to pace it. He's, he's not moving yet. Now he is. Um, either way, PSR Harry back up into P3. He's going to be waiting for that restart. And IRL Mats as well is going to be waiting to make that restart happen. Obviously, Farfu again leading the pack, and Hyrule Matt's nearly running into the back of Farfu there. Getting a little bit impatient, trying to get him to push a little bit, but he can't go any farther. Um, just looking back though, Liverpool Ewan down in P7 at the moment. Obviously, he had a five second penalty, he had to serve. And he is currently running in P7. He had a move on HRC, but HRC said no. Um, and Sir Sharks as well was very nice at defending during the last part of the race on Sun Pikachu. Yeah, it's because Hubbardy... Hubbardy is still not caught up with the pack at the moment, but he will be caught up by the... Well, pretty much as they come round the final corner, he'll be with the pack, so... Yeah, I mean, it just happens, doesn't it? I mean, you've just got to let it happen. We're going to have about 16 laps of pure racing, hopefully. No more safety cars. That's what we hope, anyway, here in the comms box. But either way, we're ready to watch some drivers lose their patience and start making moves. Wow, you you really want to ride that roller coaster, don't you, Matty? Well, it's not it's not over a racetrack, is it? It's near it. Yeah, that that's true. But you also get that stuff at Silverstone. It's like this the typical fairground route. That sounds fun, but I don't think you'll be very much up there for that long, would you? Well, so I would, to watch the race, I would rather go on the Ferris wheel. That's all I'm going to say, because I don't think you'll see much from the top of that roller coaster. What? Uh, right, 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 okay. What, what I was going to say, Matty, is let's face it, it's a roller coaster. What do roller coasters do? Well, I mean... I'm just gonna let you make those jokes because one of these days, Matty, it will come to bite you in the bum. That's all I'm saying. Matty, so where are we at next week? We're at Monaco, aren't we? Me and you. <laughs> oh, he's not. Now he is. There he's got. Oh, he's just waiting till the corner. That is fantastic timing there from Farfu. <laughs> he's that was fantastic timing there from Farfu. He waited for Mats to go through the corner. But 
Matt is going to have the outside line, but it's not the fastest. And it looks like Piers O'Hara might be on the brakes. That is fantastic. Into the break is what he is. They're side by side. And Sir Sharks is there as well. Sir Sharks has just done him. <coughs> oh my God. That is fantastic there. I, I feel bad. Sorry about the spam, but look at this. Some Pikachu does get through. Okay, I'm back. Some <laughs> oh, yeah. Pikachu. Oh, contact from Bots Gerbil and Some Pikachu, but Bots Gerbil manages to make it stick. Sun Pikachu coming back down again on Bots Gerbil. He does have the inside line, but look at the grip that Bots Gerbil had on the exit of that corner. Sun Pikachu is now under pressure. This is what you get, Michael Mas. Made these drivers um, they're 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 fucking aggressive. Let's go! I'm Pikachu on the dive. I will apologise if you heard me supposedly swear there. It wasn't that. I did say F R I C K I N. Uh, I will just say that. But let's just say some Pikachu is attacking Bots Gerbil down the straight. Bots Gerbil trying to make him go round the outside, but that wasn't happening. <laughs> I've now killed Matty. Yeah, he just got, he got swamped. I think his call to stay out on those mediums, especially after there's two safety cars that he could have pitted, um, I don't think it worked very well, did it, Matty? Either way, Liverpool you in. So I'm gonna say this now, but I think I caused the commentator's curse on Box Gerbil. Um that's all I'm going to say. I 
I am so sorry. I love you, buddy. I didn't mean to. Um, uh, I hope, <laughs> hope we're all good. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that for you. Um, but hopefully you can get some more positions back. <laughs> Food. Food. Oh, down the inside. No, he's not going to get it done. Sir Sharks on Raza. His front nose has now become the Alpine's gearbox. PSR Harry, a 133.8. Thanks for the follow, MC Decoder. Sorry to hear about your race, buddy. Uh, we were rooting for you here in the comms box. Some Pikachu just... He goes on holiday there for a second, but he's back on track. And old, old tyres. But he is looking for that one stop. He can pit now and get on softs. <coughs> he is losing too much time, so he will have to. I think they can. You've got to remember that a lot of laps were done. There was about five, six laps done under safety cars, so... With those medium tyres, I've only really seen about four or five laps of pure speed racing. Um, so I think they definitely can go to the end from here if they're just un they've been conserving enough and not been scrubbing their tyres too much on the safety car laps. Are you kidding me? Two seconds. I will just check. I'm pretty sure we would have heard something there if there was an issue. Um, I'm hoping it's all sorted. But uh, either way, we'll... Um, We'll just hope. It was about time he needed to pit. Can you just let me know, MC Decoder, who you can hear? Because somebody should have been able to tell me this earlier on and we would have been able to sort it and um, so I'm assuming it's just a problem that's arised maybe over the past few laps I'm hoping but uh, either way we'll just hope and pray but Bosch Gerbil is looking to make a move on Sir Sharks he does go down the inside there was a bit of contact there and um, it did look like Sun Pikachu decided to take another trip he's taken another trip to Siberia I think Can you not hear yourself on here? You're actually kidding me. The Scotsman. I can only hear the Scotsman. My name's Andrew, but it's fine. Just give me two seconds, chat. I'm going to just check...
What's going on? I've had an incredible comment this race. What about my RPO comment? Only last few laps for some for for lost some lost some audio. Okay, thank you, Seagulls. Hi. Um, I don't know. I I have no clue. But well, um, I'm just gonna carry on commentating like people can hear me because because yeah, why there's not? There's nothing that we can really do. It's it's cool, Corder. I do appreciate the the feedback. Ooh, I don't know what's going on. Joey, 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 Joey. I'll tell you something, Matty. Two seconds. Well, I will leave and um. I'll leave the party and then reinvite you. Hopefully that might work, okay? Okay, I'm just going to keep talking to myself. Because that seems to be all I can do at the moment because nobody else can hear me, so I've been commentating for 19 laps without anybody being able to. Well, hopefully you'll be able to join. And. It should be sorted. Oh, my, 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 my Gazi. thingy is in, my audio is included. Right. Include hopefully my audio. Works. Coder, let us know. Can you, we'll hopefully you out. guys can hear me. Let me just turn the volume up. But all I'm going to say is Liverpool you and is up into P2 now after all that um, massive issues. It should hopefully be sorted. Oh, my, 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 my thingy is in, my audio is in. Here we go, I can hear you now. I can hear it's myself. Working. It feels very weird listening to myself. When I'm on the radio, I don't even listen to myself. So that's very hopefully interesting. we can figure out. It might have been after I had that lag spike and killed his audio. But and if that's the case, you missed him. Uh, Matty was course. breaking up a bit but could hear you until the laughter moment. Oh, I reckon it was when I made the joke about you spinning. That's when you took me out. It's Bot Gerbil and Ruzek are going side by side. We get straight back into the action here. <laughs> Bot Gerbil able to hold off I the do. McLaren. There's a Mercedes in the background as well. Of Sir Sharks. I don't know, Matt. We're going to watch some battles just now. Um, and then I'm going to come back on that comment. Alright? <laughs> yeah? We're all good? Thank you. Oh, anyway, can Raza hear you both now. Thank you, Seagulls. Seagulls? That's a cool name. That is a cool name. Except from Seagulls are annoying. Are you annoying too? Oh, I love you, bro. Sorry. Just uh, brilliant. That's fact. gonna go down very, very well, isn't it? <laughs> seagulls. I'm sure you're a fantastic human being, but uh, Seagulls in general, I hate them. So it's cool. <laughs> Anyway, who's that? <laughs> and next Jason week you'll be joined by Kira and Dom because Matt and Gat are Matt and Gat are sad. <laughs> Probably. Probably. Either way, we're loving it and uh, I hope you guys are Ooh, loving it too. Nathan HRX. Night. Nathan HRX and Hubbardy are battling. But Nathan HRX, I'm sorry I put the commentator's curse on you because he just had a little twitch on the back end there and very, very unfortunately. Almost lost it, but he was able to hold on to it and he's getting back on with his pursuit. But in the time that we've been fiddling around with technology and the audio, PSR Harry, four seconds ahead. If he was to box now, he'd come out P10. He'd be looking at if he if he needed to box. Is up into P5 at the moment, well, Ferrari's P5, P4. It's been a fantastic recovery drive. For, was it Bosch Gerbil that spun at the beginning? Uh, well, he had a bit of con. He was just before the safety car. He uh, he spun, if you remember, yeah. the first safety car, and then as the safety car came out, he was past the pit lane and was stuck in P8 for a while. But he's now up into P4 as Farfus decided to pit. He has, and he's gone on to the softs. They will obviously go to the end. But I'm intrigued to see how many positions he's going to lose. I think he's going to drop right down as Joey. Coming down the straight. Is Farfu going to get out ahead of him? Joey's got out well ahead of him. So he's got some work to do. He's still in the points, obviously, which is fantastic to see. Iron Matt's coming down the straight now. Terrible though, Matty. I'm just going to jump in. Son Pikachu goes a 132.3. But Ruzek is hunting down Bots Gerbil. And Bots Gerbil is trying to hunt down his teammate right now for some extra points, it looks like. Because right now, as it stands, Bots Gerbil is going to drop down in the championship standings. If I was Raza, um, I'd be t if I was Raza, I'd be t I'd be telling Bots Gerbil to hold up Ruzek there. I, I wouldn't mind too much about. I know Bots Gerbil's got one eye on the constructors champ uh, on the drivers championship. Sorry, he's leading it, but he's got to think of the bigger picture here. PSR Harry's flying away. I don't think he's going to be able to catch Liverpool Ewan with the tires. Without boxing again, so I thought I'd be hold, trying to hold up Ruzek, trying to let Raza get a little bit of a gap, a little bit of a safety cushion. 
and get get as many points as you can for the constructors. Well, definitely, I think constructors is more in his mind right now because what's Gerbil on 14 lap olds and Ruzex on nine, so definitely the time. Ruzex going to get him down the straight, surely. He's going to have DRS. Botch Gerbil's not going to have any DRS. He's going to be a duck. He's 0.46 behind after after the final corner. As he comes round the kink, he's got DRS. He is on the hunt for a Gerbil that is botched. <laughs> not going to get him. Oh! Somehow Botch Gerbil has managed to stay ahead. But Botch Gerbil's only got a very, very... Li he has very, very limited ERS there. <laughs> Ruzak is keeping his DRS. He seems to be harvesting it a little bit now. But is it just me or is Botch Gerbil starting to pull away a little bit? I think Botch Gerbil has realised he's made up enough of a gap from Raza now that it's going to be very difficult for Ruzak to be able to make into P3 unless both of them make it. But some Pikachu gets past IRL Matt on the fresher tyres in that Aston Martin. He's got past the Red Bull. Nathan HRX gets past Hubbardy. Nathan HRX on 14 Lapo mediums, uh, Hubbardy on 11. That's going to be a battle to keep an eye on because I believe DRS, see there's the line. If I'm right in saying there is the line there, the DRS should be open. It is, but I think he's a bit away. He, lo he had a little twitch. He lost the back end. So is he going to be able to make a move on Nathan? No. Nathan's Sorry, done very, man. very yeah, well to defend that. another person joining the mix for the battle for fourth at the moment. Sir Sharks has decided to, um, you know, be a little bit of a Jaws moment and appear from behind the red shark fin. He has, um, he has, he's really snuck up on that battle, hasn't he? He really has. Definitely has. Ruzek's going to have to get this done. Gerbil's been pushing hard, though. Ruzik's going to have to get this move done on Botch Gerbil because he's going to have Sher Sharks to contend with. But Sir Sharks on 16 lap old mediums. The only thing that's in Ruzik and Botch Gerbil's favour here is Sir Shark has unfortunately got that three second time penalty. Definitely, Sir Sharks is going to have to try and keep position now. As I all Hebedee's took Nathan HRX, Farfu's got past Joey on the fresh, fresh mediums there, Farfu. Joey on 12 laps, sorry, Farfu's on the fresh softs, Joey's on the 12 lap old softs. Surely, credit where credit's due, taking those softs 12 laps there. Definitely, I mean, you can do it, it is possible, and obviously under that safety car as well, you would have, you, you would have had a little bit of time to spare on the tyres. So, I mean, from what could have been about an 8 to 9 lap stint on softs, he's managed to make 12, which is very well done, so fantastic job there from Farfu. He is, but he's going to have to be very careful not to throw himself out of the points because he's, I know it's a 10 second gap, but it's coming down very, very quickly, very, very quickly. See, we're going we're to go with it. It's a new word. It's coming down very quickly there for some Pikachu. So he's going to have to be careful not to stay out of the point and uh, not to get knocked out of the points. As Definitely. So, so Matty, what was it you just said to me? Me taking you out of the audio. Hold on a second, mate. <laughs> can, can, we, can I quickly interrupt? Because Ruzek is a lot closer to Botch Gerbil here. That is a great yeah, yeah, timing for me yourself. to divert. You save yourself. For me to divert. But looking at Sir Sharks, he's out of VRS. Sir Sharks is pretty much out of VRS, and so is Botch Gerbil, putting Ruzek technically in a great position. But again, Botch Gerbil showing the defense, defensive prowess of Virgil van Dijk there to keep Ruzek behind him. Fantastic driving. I just had to get him in. I really did. Fantastic driving there from Botch Gerbil. BVG had to be involved, of course. He certainly did. But is he going to be... Oh, Harry! Oh, Harry. that is not going to make too much of a difference at the moment. But if he makes a mistake now... Well, Liverpool Ewan, surely he's got to see that. And he's got to realise now that he's got to push. And he is. Hubbardy and Nathan are on the push right now. Um, they're battling each other, and Farfu is right there to mop up any mess that is made, it looks like. This has been a battle which has been constant for the last few laps. They've been trading positions, they've been battling. I mean, Nathan on the... Oh, Hubbardy ran a Hubbardy little bit, a bit wide. wide. Farfu may even be close enough to really do something, potentially on the next lap here. Ruzek is literally within about 0.1 of a second of Botch Gerbil. He's getting caught up in some dirty air at the moment. Oh, Nathan and Hubbardy go side by side, and Nathan gets the move done before the breaking zone there. Fantastic driving Watch from Nathan. Really Farfu is now right now. on the tail. We're watching two different battles. 
This looks pretty inc pretty incredible racing here around Russia. All I'm going to say is, let me get this uh, com uh, commentary done on this straight, because I think Ruzek's going to have Bots Gerbil. Look at the run he has! He's going round the outside! Bots Gerbil can't do anything to defend! And... Yeah, Ruzek's just made that move look too easy. He is now up into P4, and Raza, only 2.7 seconds away from Liverpool Ewan, and Ruzek only 3.3 behind Raza, so Ooh. this could happen within the next two laps. Hubbardy has got ahead of Nathan, but now Nathan has to look behind him because Farfi, Farfi ne very nearly took the both Hubbardy and Nathan down the back straight. Hubbardy is basically pushing Nathan through some of the corners. Nathan's going to try and make a move. Oh, and Hubbardy, he's got side. through. Hubbardy's got through as well. Liverpool Ewan's picked up a penalty, which does not help his cause. Sir Shark's picked up a penalty as well. But look at this. This battle here between Nathan, Hubbardy and Farfi, they're all changing positions. But now I have got a question. Farfi is obviously on the three, three lap old soft. Surely he's got to get past Nathan very, very shortly on this straight. Surely. Surely gonna he's going to have to. I don't think Nathan can do much to defend. He's not got much ERS. And actually, neither does Farfu. This he is going to be a very fair fight. He goes round the outside. He does get the move done. Is Nathan HRX going to do anything? It does look like he has had to just concede that position. Because now he's under pressure from Hubbardy <laughs> on the next straight. What a fantastic <sighs> battle. Um, but all I'm going to say is, I just want to point out, that three second penalty for Liverpool Ewan has now put him under pressure from Raza four ten, who's only two hundredths of a second behind him if you apply that penalty. So that could be very serious. So Raza just has to not get a penalty and push hard to get to Liverpool Ewan. I tell you um, what Farfu's done P two. I tell you what Farfu's done brilliantly. Look at the gap between Farfu, Farfu and Nathan HRX. Really highlighting there the fresh four lap old softs. Getting that much of a gap between on the 18 lap old medium straight away. And I think Nathan is really going to struggle to hold off Hubbardy for the next two laps. Three temps in it and oh. They're really, Hubbardy's oh, really heavy. Oh, Hubbardy's gone. Hubbardy's gone. Hubbardy is spun out. He's crashed. It's very, very unfortunate. And it's too late for a safety car, isn't it? Where that is, it's too it's late for a safety car. Very late. That He's so, so unlucky. Whoa, that's a disaster there for Hubbardy. All I want to say as well, Ruzek is under serious pressure from Brock's gerbil again. And there's not much I can really say right now other than last lap. <laughs> last lap. <laughs> Brock's gerbil could take him on the last lap. It's going to be like the shortest lap. To play with. They're pretty much set on ERS for this last lap. They are exactly tied pretty much this and is gonna be dribble. a here we go psr harry leads us through the last lap though i think he's gonna as long as there's no major disaster he's absolutely flying cruising to another victory here but raza Ruzek he's taking time raza down on you well. then raza's absolutely pushing he's but still he's gotta got make enough on him though. he hasn't let's though let's look at the penalty situation Sir Shark has six seconds of penalties. He's just managing to stay in front of Farfu at the moment, but it is his teammate. So both of those points, no matter what, they'll be pretty much exactly the same in the constructors' standing. Some Pikachu takes Joey to get another position. Piers are very controlling this here brilliantly. Let's turn off all of that for the final lap. PSR Harry going down the back straight right now. He's 6.8 seconds ahead of Liverpool Ewan. And Raza is actually under pressure from Ruzek. The for, the wit, for the final podium place. And Bot Gerbil is there as well. Oh, here we go. <coughs> this is incredible oh, battle in here. Stopping. But Ruzek on the push. He's not, gonna, he's not going to have enough. He's not going to have enough. I think Raza's just going to be able to keep it. As Pierce Harry crosses the line to win here in Sochi. Liverpool, you... I just want to... I'm going to jump back because Bosch Gerbil is all over the back of Ruzek. Oh, Ruzek going to hold off to P4. I did actually forget to jump there to PSR Harry. Uh, 
because I was too intently watching the two Ferraris sandwiching Ruzek and Ruzek was trying to get past Raza and he just couldn't and Botch Gerbil was there he was trying so hard but that was a fantastic race all round from everybody as we're just waiting for everybody to finish and Son Pikachu has crashed on the finish line he did finish the race though IRL Matt and HRC um, are going to be crossing the line just now. IRL Matt's strategy not quite where it thought it would be today. And Nathan uh, HRX, obviously, the other Alpine driver in the middle, middle of the pack. So Alpine still managing to score some points today, um, even if HRC didn't manage to get it. And he does get driver of the day, but I think that's under debate. Um, I will discuss that just as Matty's trying to invite all our podiums to the party um, when when we get to the screen. Hopefully, please do not leave. Um, yes, please do not leave the lobby until everybody has been invited to the party for post-race interviews. But yes, I, that I is think PSR, me, Harry, there's got to be... Liverpool, you and, and Raza invited to the party just so you're aware. Perfect. I don't know if Raza has a mic. But either way, if Raza doesn't have a uh, have a mic, should we try and get Ruzek in and talk about that battle towards the end? That we can, yeah, we we'll definitely get Ruzek in and have a have a chat with him. But we'll I think see. talking about drivers of the day, Ruzek for me is my driver of the day. Who is your driver of the day? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, da -da 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 -da. I think for me it's got to be Farfi. Starting P12 on the grid, going up to P6. He, was, he got caught in a little bit of traffic, but I think if he hadn't have had that traffic, he would have been absolutely flying. So I do feel that, that he had a fantastic race and overall be very, very, very proud. Definitely. And I'm going to open that question up to you guys in the chat. Who do you think your driver of the day is? Please post it in the chat and we can have a quick chat about it. Anyway, this is your final result for tonight. PSR Harry takes the position of first in tonight's race complete domination from him nobody could have really turned a foot uh, uh turned an eye to the fact that he just won that race by 6.9 seconds um liverpool ewan in second um and raza 410 in third liverpool ewan not having the best of qualities but managing to take that second spot on the grid good good strategy from him bruzek in fourth botch gerbil in fifth just i think he's just holding on to that Constructors Championship and uh, sorry not Constructors to the title for the drivers at the moment Sir Sharks in 7th Nathan HRX in 8th Sun Pikachu in 9th Joey in 10th Iron Matt in 11th XHRC in 12th Hubbardy in 13th and he does finish the race because he did manage to complete 90% of the race and unfortunately our, our non-finishers tonight Lucky do. MC Decoder, Franz W31, and Jamie 29X. MC Decoder actually thinks MC Decoder for driver of the day. I mean, sure. Sure, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we'll yes. give it to you. Um, Raza has said he hasn't got a mic. I'm not sure why nobody else has joined. I have invited everybody, so I I'm not too sure why they haven't joined. Well, if they don't join, let's see if we can get Ruzek in. You would like party. me to invite Ruzek? Yeah, I am doing that now. Invite to a party. So that is the invite sent to Ruzek. I didn't mean to do that, sorry. Either what way, a race! Hopefully we can chat to music of Ruzek about that. That was fantastic. It, it really was, wasn't it? We, we wouldn't have expected that around here, would we? 100% we wouldn't have, but... Yeah, it's, it's it was a pretty special race. That's that's for sure. A very very special race. Definitely was, Matty. It's been a pleasure as always commentating with you. It's always such a laugh. Liverpool a UN time. has got no mic either, unfortunately. So that's two out of the podium runners that haven't got a mic. I, I'm stuck in the screen apparently. And me, so I've just exited the whole game in general. I can't do that, unfortunately. Um, but anyway, we'll have a quick rundown of the race uh, just for everybody to see some fantastic battles throughout the field today. Some really nice moves pulled off by a lot of drivers. Some Pikachu 
having some really nice moves on everybody. Um, I think as well, Nathan HRX with the defense and the attack was fantastic. Bots Gerbil holding off Ruzek for as long as he could on those older tires. And Ruzek just managed to eke ahead <laughs> and was catching Raza. But enough was enough for Gerbil as he was chasing him down towards the finish line. They were literally across the line within two temps of each other. And on top of that as well, Raza 410. Fantastic podium from him. And I think as well that, that finish line just couldn't have come sooner for him because any later, Ruzek could have been... It, it could have been a completely different story at the finish, I think, Matty. 100% it could have, and I mean, the one thing that race gave us, and I think a little bit it was saved by the safety cars because it packed everybody up, gave them all DRS and, and ERS, and that was what really inevitably made it a great race with battles everywhere. And I think that's all you can ask for. And I mean, I certainly had fun, so hopefully everybody watching and everybody that took part had fun. Definitely. Anyway, this has been Invictus Racing League, sponsored by GT Omega, Driver 61, and Grid Finder. I've been Andrew Gatton, and I've had the wonderful and yet amazing Matty Valander with me tonight on Cool Comms. It's been a pleasure working with you again, my man, and hopefully we can get realistic performance up and running again on Thursday nights so that we can join in the action. If you would like to watch any more of the Invictus streams, make sure to follow us on Twitch. We also have a YouTube channel that you can follow. We have a Twitter, many Twitters, that you can follow at uh, Invictus. Everywhere, pretty much IRL, you'll be able to look on all our socials and find out when we race and when we're doing it. And look at this, we've got Ruzek just joining the party towards the end buddy make sure to include your audio for everybody to hear um we want to talk about your battles today just quickly before we end stream we can hear, can you, hear you buddy how anybody? are you yeah i'm that's all right mate try try your best we're not that good at English either if you listen to the stream. <laughs> Thanks, Matty. We did. Yeah, we were watching. It was incredible we to watch. We were watching the whole battle. Um, especially towards the end there. It was really fantastic. We've just got a couple of questions for you and hopefully um, you'll be able to talk about them with us. Obviously... You had Botch Gerbil in front of you for the last few laps, and you knew you had to get past him. Um, obviously, you had more ERS. Did you think that you were going to get past him quickly enough? Definitely, you've done fantastic there. Just another question for you as well. You know that definitely it, it could have been seen that Botch Gerber was trying to hold you up so that you didn't catch Raza. Um, did you think, though, if you got past him sooner, that you could have potentially got that first spot on the grid?
Definitely. It was excellent, mate. It, it was truly fantastic. And I just want to round up for everybody that potentially couldn't hear you in the stream. Um, he basically was saying that overall, he didn't think that he could catch Raza, um, but he knew that he had the pace to overtake Botch Gerbil and waited for the right moment. He was going to wait for the last lap, um, but thought it was too risky and did, did the move early so that he could try and catch earlier on. Um... But thank you very much for jumping in, Ruzek. It was a pleasure talking to you, my friend. Um, and hopefully we can chat again soon. We did, yeah. mate. Thank okay, you very much. Perfect. A fantastic race. Thank you. See you soon. See you next time, buddy. Raza, you've joined the you've joined eventually. It's nice to see you here, buddy. Just make sure that your audio is included in the stream, if you can. Yeah, we can hear um, you, buddy. Hopefully, Coder is in the chat right now. Hopefully, he can hear you. Um, Coder is normally our guy now. Uh, <laughs> he's, the tech guy. Yeah. Uh, he's the tech guy. He's the tech guy because apparently we're not good at our jobs. So, um, yeah, Raza, that was that was some race. Um, a lot of things happened, especially in front of you, and a lot behind you as well. That you done very well to hold your position. But what did you potentially do differently today? Um, in strategy. Just to confirm, Coda said he can't hear. He said silence. It's it's fine. I'll um I'll just summarise what you said. Basically, you're saying you know the Andrew Gatton, pretty the translator. much saved you. <laughs> uh, pretty much saved you today, and you know he he says he's saying thank you to Ruzek for the fantastic uh, kind of push towards the end. Um, but, you know, obviously, he was saying as well, he moved house over the weekend and didn't get much practice in, so he wasn't expecting much, but somehow he's pulled out a podium um, on top of that. Uh, just one small question towards the end. Um, do you think that that's going to be some really good overall points towards the end of the season uh, for the constructors? Both you and Bots Gerbil, you finishing in third and Bots Gerbil finishing in fifth. Definitely. And again, just to just to translate for everybody, um he said that you know, obviously they've got quite a lead already, about 100 points, uh, sorry, 50 points ahead. <laughs> 100 points? Place in the constructors, <laughs> as they wish. Wrap it, wrap <laughs> it up now then, bud. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're about 50 points ahead in the constructors' championship. Um, and obviously, that more points today. They were the highest finishing team in today's race, and they definitely showed their, their true pace in the overall race. Um, anyway, it's been a pleasure having you here with us Raza and uh, thank you very much for just jumping in and having a chat with us towards the end congrats mate thank you very much and that was Raza 410 jumping into the party sorry that if anybody could hear him uh, he was on his Xbox app on his phone because he doesn't have a microphone but again let's try this again my uh, this has been Invictus uh, Racing League on the Xbox 
with myself, Andrew Gatton, and the wonderful, as always, Matty Valander. Hopefully, we can do more commentary in the future when RP is up and running again with us here on the Xbox. Just a little bit of housekeeping. If you want to make sure that you don't miss any action, make sure to follow the Invictus Racing League on both Twitch and the YouTube channel to never miss an upload or a stream. Obviously, we have the PlayStation Leagues. We've got many PlayStation Leagues. There's about three of them. Um, I would be able to get them for you right now, but my phone decided it wasn't going to load the um, information earlier. So I'm, yeah, technology's not working my way tonight. Um, and it's been a little while. I would have memorized them by now. Um, but obviously, we do have the PC leagues as well. Both of the PS and the PC leagues are streamed on the YouTube. So if you would like to see some of the action there, make sure to follow the Invictus Racing League YouTube channel. To follow us on social medias, it is Invictus RL at Invictus RL on Twitter, and make sure to follow those as well. There's a lot of little leagues that you can follow from there, from the PC to the PlayStation to the wonderful Xbox, Xbox all the way. Anyway. <laughs> It's been a pleasure being here tonight, and the stream was once again brought to you by GT Omega, Driver61, and Gridfinder. Thank you very much for watching. See you all again soon.